What do you get from Ghana or feel that you don't feel in America? Peace. 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 Ghana. Debbie a Wonder. I've talked about coming to Ghana to work with hello welcome to my channel once again once again december december is approaching and we all know dirty december is also approaching this year in ghana is election year and we are waiting for and we are waiting for the one that will be chosen for next year 2025 to become the president of ghana but the thing is whoever that wins still we are going to do what party very hard we are going to party so much hard if it goes left we are partying if it goes right we are partying but definitely i know african americans black british and the white people everybody nigerians for basically foreigners who wants to come to dirty december in ghana you are very much welcome we are expecting you guys because the election is around december 7th so let's say around december 10th 11th the winner will be announced and everywhere will be cool so let's say right from the 11th 10th 12th 13th they are about going you guys can start coming in but anytime anytime during the election time too you can actually come in because ghana we've held this election for several times and nothing has actually happened so hey feel free and come to ghana but i want to share with you some african americans that have actually come to the country and are sharing their experience for you to at least um, know how the country is and also get prepared or expect certain things that they might mention in this video so that you also do what get prepared on some of these things so let's go watch and come back you're an american going to ghana this december and one thing you will absolutely need to get into the country is a visa please take note that in order to get a visa in the u.s to ghana you need to send off your passport to the ghanaian embassy which is in washington so not only do you have to send off your passport, you have to send proof of accommodations and you have to send your flight itinerary with a returning flight. If you have a one way ticket, it's going to be harder for you to get a visa or you'll get asked a lot of questions. You 100% will need a yellow fever vaccination. And if you live in LA, that vaccination is only given maybe like once a month. So you might want to start planning for your vaccination now and do not wait until the last minute. You will see some people say that you could get the yellow fever vaccination in Ghana and it'll be a lot cheaper. Do not trust that because some flights will not let you get on the plane if you don't have the yellow fever vaccination. Some will, but some won't and you don't want to take that risk. There's more documentation that goes into getting a visa for Ghana, but the entire process takes 7 to 14 days depending on if you get it rushed or not. We got ours rushed last year. It only took 7 days and I got mine on the 7th day, quite literally the day before I left for my flight. Also, another thing to note is that you have to have six or more months valid for your passport or they will not give you a visa. So paying for the yellow fever vaccination and the passport visa process, it came out to roughly $250. So plan financially accordingly and time-wise because it takes a minute to get all this stuff back. They are the kindest most sincere people I've ever been around, ever. Forget everything you've ever heard. After you go to Africa, you gotta go to Ghana first, then you need to go to Botswana, because you need to see what we, Botswana is the second richest diamond producer nation in the world. Them black people over there got something. And then you got to go to Johannesburg, Every black person living should go to Ghana and see them slave castles so you can see what they did to us. You got to see what they did to us. You got to see how they built these dungeons underground and they put these churches on top and they dug holes in the ground to pump the music of they, what they call they Christianity into the holes while, man, they did. Let me explain something to y'all. They put... They walk them as far as they can first to make them lose weight. They put them in a room, then they cut a door, and after you've been in this room in two weeks, they walk you through this door. If you lose the right amount of weight, you fit through the door. If you don't fit through the door, you got to stay in this room right here. 
Then you're in this room for another week, they make you lose some more weight. Then you fit through another door. If you can't fit through the door, you ain't lost enough weight. You got to go through four doors like that before you go through the door of no return. I wanted to be a Ghanaian Stabia Wonder. I've talked about coming to Ghana to work with the Tootsie Fly and Sleeping Blindness. I talked about it when I had my Project Out talking book and in the visions. I've talked about Ghana throughout my years and for now over, over 50 years, I've talked about being a citizen in this country. The truth is, I'm committed to... So I've been in Ghana for the past week. This is my second visit. And surprisingly, this is what I've learned. Africans do not hate us. Africans don't hate us at all. As a matter of fact, that is what the media tells us. So we don't come here. So we don't connect with our culture, with our people, with our roots. They tell us that so we stay away. Ghana is a beautiful place. Don't let anybody just stop believing what, it, what other people tell you and just come experience for yourself. It's a beautiful community. Come on, just come. Right now, I'm on the roadside, going to get some fruit. You know how much I'll spend? No more than $7. <sighs> this is Africa, baby. Truly amazing. Truly amazing. This place is very saddening to see how they would treat it. So inhumane. I mean, who would do that? Why? Money. Being here, taking my shoes off, getting into the water, the Atlantic Ocean. I felt at peace. I felt at home. I felt like all of my ancestors, we were reunited. And it was... The more and more I would come to Ghana for those immersion trips for my organization, the harder it was for me to go back to the States. I had a conversation with my wife and I said, you know what, I think the next place in our journey is Ghana. For the first couple months, I mean, I would wake up and I would just be like, wow, we're in Africa. Like, like we're actually living here. And it was, it, was, it was really exhilarating and exciting. And for the first time in my life, um, I felt like a human being disconnected from the color of my skin and it was transformational. So the difference between visiting Ghana for a holiday or vacation Ghana, it was such a welcoming. I mean, it was like being home. <sighs> I can't explain it. I can't explain it. Come on. Come on. Okay. The people I saw, it was like, I have an uncle that looks like him, mm. a grandmother that looks like that person. Everyone has just been wonderful. Jay has organized this in a way that I've never experienced. The history that I learned 
which you think you know you don't really know it all you know so all the history the places that we we went to it just had such a connection and you you, you think about what goes on in the US you say why am I here you know go to Ghana think about moving to Ghana have a connection with Ghana uh, Ghana, Ghana. Um, so it, it, it really has been an emotional trip for me the food was great the hotel was great the places that we traveled to I mean just everything I, I can't say anything negative all I can say is come and see for yourself you know truth is there when you come and see it for yourself you know you never know enough you know and um, I, I just wish them well and all, all the people that I've met the family that we have created being among each other um, I just hope that we will meet again on another trip and it definitely will be with Jay yeah so I wish everyone safe travels home and the people are so kind so giving, so humble, so unpretentious, you know, it just makes you say, this is what humanity is all about, you know, and the food, I can't say enough about it. <laughs> I thought I was going to lose about 10 pounds. I think I've gained about 20. <laughs> we ain't a please, we ain't a please. <laughs> and, um, you know, the history, I mean, the experience, it just lets you know how much you don't know, you know. It's been like an education for me, you know, uh, and uh, I look forward to uh, doing it again and, and coming back because we got a general overview of everything. We got a little this, a little that, but next time I come back, I'm going to be more detailed and more uh, organized and and really seek out the things that uh, I found to be more interesting than other mm -hmm. uh, uh, things that we experienced. And that's principally it, you know. I, I, I'm sorry to leave at this particular point in time, but, uh, you know, duty calls. <laughs> Each day I woke up and I had to say out loud, I'm in Africa. Mm. Because I don't know for sure if it's even sunk in or if I just feel comfortable here that it already feels like home because I have to keep reminding myself I'm in Africa. It didn't, it, it wasn't because of, you know, smooth streets or, Not at all. or a Ghana <laughs> massage. <laughs> okay. Smooth streets. <laughs> I'm happy here. I love the people. I love it's tiring. When you say it's tiring, what do you mean? It's tiring to worry about your son. Yeah. It's tiring to go somewhere that you deserve to be. I'm in Ghana on a 30 person delegation representing the city of Houston. I have never experienced friendship, generosity, um, and a welcoming like I have in Ghana, particularly Accra. As a, a black American in the U.S., it was healing to return to the castle. It was healing to return to the river, uh, to reunite with my ancestors, to affirm everything that I knew about myself, everything that I knew about who they were. And they were so resilient that 
my ancestors lived through that entire process that I can exist today to continue to advocate for the rights of those um, in the Americas and abroad. Uh, we did more than just meetings. We were able to experience the culture and the people and the love. Um, Hello, my name is Pamela Beckham and I am from Florida, but we just purchased an apartment here and I'm going to be one of you. I love you people. I love this country. I love everything about Ghana. I've been watching you now for a whole year and I'm finally here. I feel like I'm home. My name is Alice Winston. I'm from Maryland, USA. And I just love this country. I I just feel safe, and I walk the street. I don't have to look. I don't look over my my shoulder to see who's following me or, or trying to rob me. This is a beautiful place. We just purchased a. Uh, we they call an apartment. We call it a condo in uh, in the US of A. And I love it here. And this will be my home. Hey everybody, I'm Roy. All I got to do is say, Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> What do you get from Ghana or feel that you don't feel in America? Peace, 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 peace. Ghana is one of the most peaceful countries I've ever been to and I've been to over 50 countries. So it's unmatched. When you come here, you feel supported, love from the men, from the women, the children. It just feels like home. It's not a coincidence that we're all here at this time. I believe that we are a collective of love. And so why have fear in that? You know that you're loved, you know that you're supported, you know that God has you and you're amongst your people. I mean, I have every reason to be confident. I'm God's child. Come home. It's time. <laughs>